Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Bianca Fuchiko Fitness. My name's Bianca and I just firstly wanted to do a big apology for the fact that I haven't had any content up for the last three weeks. Sometimes life gets in the way, we all know that and you know as long as we have a purpose and a reason to keep going then we'll always get back on track anyway which you guys know. So if you haven't already hit like subscribe my channel above You'll see that one. You guys find all the link for description to all of my online classes below. All of that is down there. And I would really appreciate it if you shared all of my content, all of my videos with anybody who you think could benefit from that. So today's class is a 15 minute, really simple workout. We're just gonna be stretching out. I know you guys love to take time out as well. So again, I'm gonna say a nice hi to all of those who've been asking for those workouts. And as well, anybody who wants to come to those live classes, I'm gonna put my email here just above. So you guys can email me there if you wanna join in those classes, which happen daily as well. So they're not um, obviously pre-recorded, they are live. And I have a beautiful group that have been enjoying working out with me for the last two years. Enough with the long introduction, let's get straight into today's workout. Thank you so much, Cassie. So guys, as I said, nice, simple one today, mostly focusing on our stretches. We're gonna come into our fear, fearful sustand, so our four point kneeling. All right, and when you guys are ready, I just want you to find something that feels good for you. So, you know, you can go to the cat cow if you want, or what I was doing on this day as I was recording was a beautiful, what I like to call around the world. So just taking those hips and those ribs off from one side to the other. Feeling the nice massage there through the lower back, through the spine, just getting straight into the body here. Good, allowing that flow, you know, working with that breath. Just getting any sort of tense points there out of the body. Cassie's feeling that. Guys, Cassie is super aligned. She has understood life. Let's keep this one, guys, going, yeah? So finding our cat cow, twisting the hips from side to side. Well done, allowing that chin to draw into the chest as you just move through the motion here. Well done, guys. This should feel really nice. Good. A couple more here. All right, guys, coming back to the center, finding your cat, and let's just sit back onto our sits bones. So coming into a nice child's pose. You can hang out here for a second, or you can reach those fingertips actually kind of into a cup position, which kind of goes a little bit deeper into those scapula, into that upper back. You can choose here to rock your head from side to side. Again, this workout is for you guys to take as much time as you need as well. All right, let's move into our downward facing dog from here or our pike position. Again, choosing here what you wish to do. So if you can just hang out or maybe walking through those feet as well, choosing to bend those knees one after the other. Again, working with the breath guys on each movement, really connecting to the body connecting the mind, body, and soul together. Well done, guys. Keep up the good work. Looking good. All right, guys. And let's from here move into a nice chaturanga, just coming down onto our bellies, yeah? Or just coming down a little bit easier than that if you want to, well done. Let's drop our head between our hands. Good, we're just gonna go into a little sphinx here. So make sure the hands are just in front of the shoulders. For those of you a little bit more flexible, of course, you can take those hands a little bit further back so you guys know where your weaknesses and where your strengths are. So you're just going to the point that you can work at and then, of course, over time, you'll be able to, you know, go deeper into the stretches. Always working with integrity, super important. In any workout, whether it be Pilates, yoga, dancing, whatever you guys, are doing your lives, I always say, yeah, I mean, I don't always say, but working with integrity definitely helps, yeah? And of course, coming back to what we're doing, working with that breath, nice big exhale as you press those hands down, keep those shoulders away from the ears as I'm showing here, keep that neck nice and long, beautiful extension there through the upper back, chest expanding as you exhale, you press the hands down. Take as many of these as you need, guys. Maybe you're holding it a little bit longer than I am. Maybe you're going a little bit faster. Again, I want you guys to feel comfortable here, okay? And we're rolling down with a nice big inhale. Exhale, a little bit easier. An option would be to take those hands forward. Make sure you're not breaking the neck here. You, want, you do want to look to the sky or to the ceiling and open those eyes as well. Beautiful, guys, nice. Now let's move with our right foot up into our glutes or towards our bottom. We're just going into a nice thigh stretch or quadricep stretch here. So making sure as well with this one that the knees try to stay as close as possible 
yeah, be really careful. I know that some of you have up and su, sometimes a little bit of knee pain. Just pay attention there, nice and easy. If you're a little bit more flexible, as I'm showing, of course, feel free to take that knee off the mat. Let's change sides. Well done, guys. Good. Slowly releasing that left or right foot. And let's move back into our child's pose one more time, bringing those knees together and just dropping the head between the knees, coming onto the mat. Beautiful. When you guys are ready, let's roll up through the spine, coming back onto our heels. And I want to start now by taking our right foot forward. No, my mistake, our left foot forward, yeah? Those hips are gonna come forward. Let's move into a little bit of a hip flexor stretch. If you're feeling cool and confident, I want you guys to interlace the hands behind the butt and really open up that heart center towards the sky, towards the ceiling, looking up and allowing yourself to really expand there through the chest, expand there through the front of the belly and drop those hips down. If this is not comfortable for you, you don't need to push it. You can take the hands to the knees and support yourself. Good guys, you wanna breathe into the upper back there, making sure you're not crunching into your lower back, okay? I need you guys to really support there from the belly. Good, breathing. And if you are as well stretching out by yourself after any workout, make sure you're holding your stretches for at least 30 seconds, okay? Let's take the heel of the left foot forward and just coming as far forward as is possible for you. Hands down on the mat, hands on the knee. Exactly, if you can't reach so low, you can come a little bit higher up as well. Making sure that front foot is nice and flexed and those hips are square, that belly button is nice and tight, pulling in towards the spine. Lengthening out there through the chest, through the back. Good job, guys. Good, a little bit more flexible for my dancers. <laughs> you guys can drop the head down. Something to work on as well. If you're looking to improve your technique or your stretches, you can all work on something, right? <laughs> all right, guys, when you're ready, let's come up. And I need us to take that foot a little bit more further forward. And those hands are now gonna come on the inside of the foot, moving a little deeper into the hips here, okay? For those of you who wanna really take this nice and deep into those hips, as you can see, that back leg is gonna stretch up. So you're just rocking that pelvis maybe a little bit further and back, taking those elbows down. You don't need to go into this one. If you're new to Pilates, new to stretching, just getting into this routine for the first time, take it easy, guys. Yeah, this is a really relaxed routine today, a really relaxed workout no stress ebbing and flowing like the beautiful coastline of australia behind us filming from my beautiful hometown here in victoria australia so we have our second side let's do this all on the right side the left tip is now opening up good we're interlacing those hands behind us opening up that heart center that heart chakra our front of the body and our eyes towards the sky, towards the ceiling, wherever you are doing this workout today. Smiling from the inside out and then <laughs> smiling from the outside and sharing that love with anybody around you. Good, let's come back with the pelvis and now bring that right heel in towards us, nice and close there, dropping those hands down beside your foot. If you can't go so far, of course, taking those hands a little further back, for those of you who are wanting to go deeper into the stretch, dropping that head nice and low down. Again, I'm gonna show a little easier option for those of you who are not yet as flexible. You will be getting there. Practice makes the master. Good, coming up, yeah. Good, guys, feeling that nice stretch there in the back of the knees as well, in the hamstring. And let's now move that knee forward, taking those hands on the inside of the left. Good, you wanna stretch through that hip opening up there through the pelvis and for those of you who are who are able to stretch that knee extending that back leg nice and long there good quite a deep intense stretch so what i always say i know i repeat myself a lot but we're going to breathe into those areas that are tight yeah releasing on the exhale and taking a nice prana on the inhale nice new fresh energy on that inhale well done guys all right, let's come slowly back onto our knees. Give our beautiful Cassie a nice big kiss and a hug. <laughs> and let's turn around onto our sit bones. She's just coming to check that everything's 
in ordnung let's say she's looking pretty excited i think we did a good job all right guys now we're going to take our right ankle across our left knee and move into our figure four stretch which is as you guys can see a beautiful stretch for our glutes so we are working here on the right side of the bottom again enjoy this one not only for the hips not only for the glutes but also just to come down and take a nice breather yeah for those of you a little bit tighter this one is quite intense so maybe you want to back it off by taking that left knee a little bit further forward that is totally fine and of course completely acceptable this is your time guys i'll repeat it one more time your time your workout so you do what you need to with your body yeah all right let's change sides guys so let's bring now the left ankle over the right knee holding on to the front of the knee as you guys can see i'm doing if that's not possible hands behind the knee completely fine or again taking that knee slightly further forward if well, this is way too much take a break come back to it when you guys are ready okay well done breathing here nice deep breaths in through the nose and of course out through the mouth well done good guys and then when you're slowly ready releasing that foot coming back onto your back and let's just take our hands now next to our hips i need you guys to bring the hips slightly up and just interlace those hands moving into a little bit of shoulder bridge Udvadanasana for those yogis and ones i don't know all the sanskrit names okay so i hope i'm saying this right please correct me if i'm wrong so shoulder open and now we're gonna bring those hands together and open that chest extending the butt to the sky this is also an active stretch so if you want to take a break at this moment please feel free to do so but otherwise we are opening up again the heart center feeling those heels pressing down keeping those knees over the feet and those hips in line with those knees knees in line with those heels Good. Keep pressing the butt up. Keep squeezing the glutes together and opening the front of the hip joint. Slowly releasing down, guys. Well done. Give yourself a little break. Release those hands, of course. And let's just take our knees slowly out to the side, bringing our feet together, finding a beautiful Schmetterlingspose, a butterfly stretch. Closing the eyes, reaching the arms above the head. Again, you can choose to close the eyes here. We're gonna stay here for about 30 seconds. Just enjoy that beautiful stretch there, allowing, allowing gravity to send to you, bring you down to the earth. Well done, guys, beautiful work. This one should be super nice, super restorative, very relaxing. Guys, breathe, enjoy life right now. Good. And when Cassie says it's time to come back, we're going to come back and let's come up onto our side for a second. Good. From here, guys, well done. Let's come into our cross legged position. Good. And then I just want us to take our left foot out to the side, as you guys can see, coming into our half lotus. Our right ankle or our right foot is coming into our groin. And we're reaching that right arm up and over, moving into a beautiful side bend here. What I don't want you guys to do is turn the shoulders down. I want us to reach rather that right shoulder and that right arm nice and long so that you're reaching not only over, but up and over. That's what I always say, moving into the length of the stretch. Going as deep down and as long as you, as you can. Good. Keep, en keep energy reaching out through those right fingertips. Beautiful, guys. Let's come up on the next exhale. And then when you're ready, changing sides, taking now that right foot out and that left heel coming into your groin, holding onto your shin, ankle or your knee and reaching up and over with that left fingertip, that left hand. Again, feeling that stretch there all the way from the hip up towards the ribs, up towards the shoulders, up towards the fingertips. Nice and long. Beautiful breathing in through the nose and of course out through the mouth and if you have a dog by your side giving your dog some love good morning cassie sweet and then we're going to come back up beautiful right on time moving into now an upper arm stretch i tell you guys cassie is one aligned dog shoulder down she's telling me to put my shoulder down <laughs> all right guys so let's take our right arm across the left elbow is reaching under just finding that stretch there through the upper arm 
Good, you can choose to look over that right shoulder or choose to look forward or over the left shoulder again. You do what feels good for you. Most important thing is to reach the shoulder away from your ears. Beautiful. And then let's simply change sides. Left arm, right elbow underneath or opposite, of course. Looking away from that extended hand over the shoulder and breathing nice and deeply here. Just going as far as you need to or as far as you can with all of these stretches, guys. Beautiful work. And let's release and shake it out. Good. Well done, everybody. And well done to Cassie. Beautiful. Let's stay in our cross legged position and just take our hands onto our knees. Good. And just simply closing our eyes and again coming back to our Pilates breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just feeling your body in space now, feeling that energy working through the entirety of the body. I always like to think of like my spine, the energy spiraling from down to up and just centering ourselves off here before we move into our day, our evening, whatever is happening in the future. It's not necessary to think about now. We're just here in the here and the now. Well done, guys. And then when you guys are ready, slowly coming back, opening your eyes, let's reach our palms to the side, take a nice big deep reach up to the sky and exhale, bringing those palms before you. Nice second big inhale, feeling that nice stretch and exhale release coming down through the center and one last time inhale namaste thank you so much guys thank you so much cassie thank you guys for joining in today's class i'm sorry it's been so long since i was able to give you guys any content but i hope you really appreciate it enjoyed it feel, feeling good remember hit like subscribe join in for all the workouts we're doing daily online <laughs> <laughs> and i look forward to seeing you in the next video guys until then be safe keep working out and yeah we'll see us then have a nice one bye bye